Hello and welcome back to Star Blind House. Of course, I'm Faith, and today I will show you how to install GZ Doom, where to find it, as well as Brutal Doom. And I will show you how to install everything and what you will need. So let's get started. <clears throat> first things first, go to Google, type out GZ Doom. You will see that you will come to Z. Doom.org backslash download. You want to get the Windows edition 64 bit, only 15 megabytes. Now, what we're going to do for Brutal Doom is we're going to go, yeah, we know, Wing Raw, sorry, Wing Raw loves to just open up whenever it damn well pleases. We're going to go back to ModDB and we're going to search for Brutal Doom. You should see this page released in 2012. And the version we are looking at today is version 21 that was released in June 11th of 2019. We're going to hit download, download now, um, and then we can wait. All right, and if it does not work, start automatically, just hit that. And you'll see that, of course, WinRaw will probably open up yet again. No? All right. So, we got the two downloads. I'm going to leave a description in the um info box and uh on where the my pages are so it'll be easier for you guys to find so we got all that let's work on our um download folder now you're gonna have to open up two different folders so for me i use these two and i know they, they look exactly the same the reason why i'm going to do that is because to run gzd you're going to need a special file called wad now for me i was able to get that special file just by going to my ultimate doom folder which is in my steam apps and go to ultimate doom go to base and you'll see that there's a doom.wad that's exactly what we need so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put that to the side we're going to work on our downloads all right so we're going to extract files from gz doom and like i said we're going to work on our downloads folder so hit new folder hit ok and there we go we should have all this now now in order for gz doom to run right it needs the wad file so grab doom.wad you're going to move it into this folder you should see it right there all right so let's go back a step i'm going to open up brutal doom now we're going to extract brutal doom into my download file a gz doom so extract that right there so after that we can close this down and now we just have to work in our um folder so i'm going to rename this folder just gz doom and hit enter now that we're in here the easiest way to tell you how to get brutal doom to run right is this right click the Brutal version 21.pk3, right click it. Uh, open with, choose another app. Now, for me, you'll see that my GZ Doom's already here. But basically, what you're going to do is hit more apps. You're going to look for another app on this PC to run that file. So, what we're going to do is go to downloads, go to GZ Doom, hit gzdoom.exe, hit open. And you'll see that this, the um, Sergeant Marks 4, of course, there's underscores, Brutal Doom will pop up. So not only did you just have Brutal Doom install now, which is great. So that's exactly what we want. And I do believe that, um, yeah, GZ Doom and brutal doom run at the same exact time i do believe i don't see i don't think it runs differently but if it does that's okay if you just want to run gz doom with no brutal doom all you have to do is skip putting brutal doom dot pk3 in the folder just make sure you have the doom dot one and then just hit gz doom and you'll see that it is um 
you know, options. And then you can tell when you have it installed because you'll see the full option menu on there. And that, my friend, is it. That works for Doom, Doom 2, and a whole bunch of other games that run on the Doom engine. And, um, that's about it. That's all you need to know about these mods and how to install it, where to find it, how to run it. And we will see you next time here on Starblind House. Okay, people, later.